Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. It's the full noon in Libra today and what does that mean for us all? Well, it is eclipsed by the eclipse, so it's going to make it a lot more powerful energy. It is really pushing us out of our comfort zones. It's really pushing us forward. It's really making us go within and look at what needs to be cleared out of our emotional body, our physical body, our mental, spiritual bodies. So it's about, let me see, I've just got um, some notes here. It's a tipping point. It's a tower moment. It's like a lot of things are going to be falling away this full moon. Um, enabling us to move forward into the new, to, to keep creating this new earth that we're all creating and that can't get away from creating. So a lot of people at the moment are feeling very um, spaced out, lightheaded, don't want to be in their bodies because they don't want to look at their emotions that may be coming up. Um, they may not particularly like their body at the moment. It may not be functioning the way it should. This full moon is highlighting health and healing. So looking at our health aspects, I've got a few health things going on. Um that I need to look at and also looking at the emotions that are connected to them because that's how I'm going to heal it. So it's looking at healing, ways of healing that. So also it's about um, moving forward but at our own pace. So it's about focusing on what's going on in your life. Don't be worrying how fast everyone else is moving or, or slowly moving around you. Stay in your own lane, stay on your own path and do things at your own pace. There is no right or wrong way to ascend. You will do it in divine timing under your own steam, learning the lessons that you need to learn along the way. Aim high, aim high and set those goals. But it is really important this full moon to really focus on what you want to let go of. So it's like having a little declutter of your mind, your physical body, what are you putting into it, um, clearing out your house, clearing out your workspace, whatever it is. It's really about letting go of anything that no longer serves to you, but also very much letting go of the past now. So we're going to be working with that in my group tonight in the Soul to Soul membership, really clearing out our clutter clearing out the past, really letting go. And Lisa Tig is going to be helping us do that work as well as me. She's going to be doing some EFT tapping. So if you want to join us tonight, you're more than welcome. Just email me on michellewestinfo at gmail.com and we can get you booked in. So our main aim for the next month, really, I'm feeling throughout April is to stay in our own lane, to seek joy, to do stuff that makes us happy, to not people please, you know, let them learn their lessons around you. Let them do their own thing. You are the more most important person. You need to be focused. So focus on joy. Focus on happiness. Focus on positivity, even when you're really feeling unpositive, <laughs> low, depressed even. Um, can't see this wood for the cheese. Are in pain. Um, be that physical or emotional pain. But look for those higher vibrations of joy, happiness, um, positivity, but also of um, peace. Find the peace. The peace is within, obviously, but find the peace around you as well. This, These higher vibrations keep us on our path. They keep us in the higher realms, the higher vibrations. So we're letting go of the past because we're more and more, as, we, as the time evolves now, we're stepping into this new energy this new creative energy of new earth stay in your own bubble of peace and happiness is key to get through okay um i just want to say there's going to be you know as much as we're trying to focus and move forward and create this new earth we've got all these distractions going on around us be that social media be that donald trump be that <laughs> Anything that's going on in the world, be that news on the, you know, or even news in your local area. You're going to have to have courage, focus. What else did I write down here? Independ being independent on, your, uh, on yourself to stay on the right 
path to create the new chapter not only in your life but for the world so Aries is always because we've still got this Aries sterilium as well as Libra um I've talked about that in previous videos so you'll have to pop back and look at Aries but basically that is living in the present moment we haven't got yesterday we're letting go of that we haven't got tomorrow yet we only have now and I'm just repeating this and it's so hard I find it really hard sometimes just to stay in the present moment and stop worrying about the future and dwelling on some things from the past so all that is work that I need to to work on it's a simple energy we've just got to keep things simple focused just do it just do what's right for you at this time so health and healing issues are being highlighted this full moon in libra um it's also about completion of things remember the moon always shines a light on things that need to be looked at or worked through you may even be shown some health issues that you didn't even you weren't even aware of maybe or some healing modality that can help you this full moon but it is very much about letting go of the past because when we hold on too tightly we're stuck where we are when we start to loosen the grip even just a little bit and let go we are even if it's scary because there's a lot of fear out there but sometimes you're faced with things that eventually you're going to have to do it anyway. So why not do it under your your steam rather than being maybe pushed to do it later on or made to feel that you've got, you know, no choice. Under this energy, it's just simple. It's about letting go and it's about moving forward, even though we've got to move through this fear. Because when we move through the fear, there's something always better. It's the fear that keeps us stuck. It's the fear of wanting to be in this comfort zone, knowing what we know. But there may be another bigger, better situation, relationship, house, whatever it is for you out there. If you're just brave enough to take that courage and step forward. I've been also working with Amanda's new spray, Amanda Ellis's new spray, the Violet Dragon. I thought it was on my desk. Hold on, let me just get it because it's been really, really helping me. Where have I put it? Where are you? There he is. And you can get this on Amanda's website, Amanda um, Angelic Celestial Colours. uk. It's this one. It's really been helping me ground. I mean, I don't know. I haven't fully read the description that Amanda's put up because I like to work with the spray and see what it, it's teaching me but it's really helping me to ground I feel like it's lifted my mood I feel like my worries and fears are a lot less I feel like things are being shown to me more um what else it's done so much I've slept better as well because I'm not worrying um so yeah this is this is Amanda's spray oh god am I pointing it in the wrong direction here you go it's because i'm on my phone not my laptop so it's the violet dragon spray and it says on here master master clearance of danger defense spray and defense spray Ooh, let's have a bit shall we it's on the red and purple ray oh it smells divine as well as they all do I didn't catch a lot of that. I think I sprayed it behind me. Hold on. Yeah, it's got a... There's something in there. It might be Fair Vetico. I'm not sure. Vetiver. It's not one of my favourite smells, but I know how powerful it is. I think, it, I think I'm right in saying that. I'm sure Tracy will comment on this video if she sees it, if I'm wrong. Um, but you can get the description on Amanda's website. But that has really been helping me this week. Really been helping me move forward without fear and just doing it, which is the energy of this of this new uh, full moon. Is just get on with it, you know. Face your fears. Be that your health. Be that moving home. Be be that getting a new job or a new relate. Getting out of a relationship. Use the courage and strength 
and let this dragon support you. So I'm going to pull from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck because I've got to go back to the dentist again today because the filling they put in yesterday has come out. <laughs> and I don't want that playing up over um, the uh, weekend. Right, one of them's just flown out, which is a nice card, so I'm going to keep that. So can I have some cards for this full moon and over Easter because I'm not going to be on on Monday. So that we might have a few more cards today. Okay, I might just pull one more. Oh, okay, he's asking me to pull it from a different deck. Okay, Mr. John, thank you. Da, da, da. I hate the dentist. My teeth are so bad, though. I fell apart when I was pregnant with my son. I've never been right since. Right, let's just have one card to go with this last card, which I don't want to tell you, because otherwise it'll give the game away. It's giving me three. I don't want three, Mr. Tron. I just need one. Just one this morning to go with that, thank you. No, let me just tune in, sorry. Just need one card to go with that end card. Okay. got the card of new beginnings we can't have this until we let go of the old or some of it you know because we can't just let go of everything in one go sometimes we can but if we just start chipping away at the old letting go of the past letting go of situations relationships jobs whatever it may be personally for you we then free up space for new energy to come in so that's really important that brings in miracles. So expect a miracle over this Easter, which, you know, why wouldn't we with the Christ energy? Look at those beautiful angelic signs from Metatron. Remember, my last video was about signs. I'm still seeing them, are you? Um, but this is also like, look, he's showing us the way ahead. He's lighting it up for us. We may well be in this darkness, standing on this cliff, thinking, oh, shall I jump, shan't I? But look at the light. Look at the angelic support that you've got. Um, you've just got to come out of this darkness into the light, even if you just take one topic or one small thing that you need to work on and take that leap of faith. You're not going to fall. You're not going to fall. You've got too much angelic support around you. And the light of the moon, I'm hearing, the light of the moon is going to highlight a lot of things for us to work on. Um, there's been a lot of emotions coming up this week. I've had a few clients that I've been working with that has been very ungrounded. They didn't want to be in their bodies. They were quite happy up here. Oh, it's all safe up here. I feel much safer up here. I don't have to feel all this emotion, this past hurt, this grief, this trauma. But it's not going to heal if you don't sink into it. That's the work that you need to do. That is the aspects that you need to work on. And if you're up there, you're not going to be feeling it. You're not going to get clear messages. You're not going to feel your emotions. Your emotions are just that, emotions. They will move through. You've got to look at the traumas, the heartache, the pain to release it. And yes, there'll be lots of tears. I've had lots of tears this week. I've had tears with clients. It is quite normal under a full moon, especially with eclipse, but it is about letting go of the past. So a lot of past stuff is going to come up for people. But see the bigger picture. See the bigger picture of when you let go and you're brave and you can move forward. Would you not rather be soaring over seeing your new version of you and what's coming in rather than holding on to the past? Because when you hold on too tightly, you're stuck. You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay where you are. And it's time for change. It's time for change, regardless if you like it. Nobody particularly likes change. But change is inevitable for us to grow and move forward. And the card that I've got to go with that is curiosity. What does it say? Curiosity is the catalyst for change. Yeah, be curious about what's coming. Change happens when we get curious about why things are not the way we would like them to be. When our discontent at not when we when our discontent at not having change we desire our ways our discomfort of taking actions towards it our reality starts to shift so when you take action 
things change. And it doesn't have to be big things. It can be just tiny little things. It could be, oh, I'm not going to have any sugar in my tea today. And you can do it that small on a daily basis. Not like I'm giving up sugar. Okay? Or whatever it is for you. I'm just using that example. This card is inviting you to get curious about an aspect of your life that is stubbornly refusing to change. It's asking you to dig deep for insights, clues and approaches that you have never considered before or dared to explore. Be brave, get inventive and fasten your seatbelt. Yeah, get curious. Get What is the moon showing you? What is it that's coming up that you may well have thought you've healed? And I'm not saying you haven't. You've just healed an aspect of it and you haven't got to the root cause yet. And that's okay. You just keep peeling back the layers of the onion. So if you need my help, you know where I am. It's michellewestinfo at gmail.com. If you'd like to join us tonight for some deep release, letting go work and bringing in the new, please, please get in contact. It's not too late. It's michellewestinfo at gmail.com. And if you just want to do a drop-in session, it's £20. If you want to join us each month for two live events, plus our Facebook group, you can join um, join us each month for £35. And you do get some discounts if you're in that group for my um, treatments and therapies. That's not on top of any special offer that I might be holding. Um, it's just if it's full price, you get a discount. So I hope to see you tonight. If you're joining me, I'll see you later. Have a great day and have a happy Easter. And I'll be back next week sometime. I won't be here on Monday, obviously, because it's bank holiday. Um, and I've got to start decluttering my house to move. So lots of love. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.